How can you take advantage of this recent pullback in precious metals? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you an intriguing investment opportunity with Silver Dollar Resources. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. As a contrarian investor, I look for the potential to make big gains on my more speculative moves without chasing bubbles. Okay, that's very important to me. I don't want to be caught up in bubble mania. And one sector that I think provides that great opportunity for me is the mining sector. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk with Michael Romanik, the CEO of Silver Dollar Resources. That's a mineral exploration company with some really interesting projects. And I'm going to ask him about them. And I'm also going to see if I can, you know, mine some valuable nuggets from Mike about what's going on with this 2021 pullback in precious metals. And we'll hear some exciting news about his company. So, hi, Mike. Thank you so much for uh, joining me on my channel. How you doing? Great. How you doing? Awesome. So, before we discuss your mineral exploration company, Silver Dollar Resources, can we just, like, Talk about what's been going on in the precious metals market since the, you know, the beginning of the year. 2021 really hasn't been too kind to the shiny stuff so far, at least. Not yet, but you'd think we're, in, we're getting into a perfect environment for, for precious metals to, be, to, to go higher. With the, the weakening U.S. dollar, mm -hmm. like last week, it hit a two and a half year low. Um, you got a rapid increase in government spending, mm -hmm, exploding mm -hmm. deficits. Uh, and so much uncertainty around COVID. And with all the, the circus, what's going on in D.C. right now, COVID is oh. kind of on the back burner. And there's, it's nowhere near under control. That's so point. And you got um, Georgia, the Senate race went to the Democrats. Biden is coming out, I think, what, on Thursday mm -hmm. to highlight uh, some of the key points for his economic relief program. And they already gave a hint that it's going to be in the trillions. Nobody even bats an eye at that stuff anymore. And that the debt's at 27 and change so it's like i said I know. It, fundamentally it should be a perfect environment for precious metals gold and silver i don't know it's still hard though last friday was like that was dramatic we we really don't usually see that kind of one day drop especially in gold it was down like four percent uh you know silver was down like uh seven percent i think for the week around that yeah, Friday. And what happened? I, I just seen a quick chart on the U.S. dollar that Friday, right? It was yep. the dollar lower in the morning. And then I don't know what happened. Then it's just rocketed up to close close the day. I think. Uh, was it 90? Uh, I, I think it was closed above the 90 for the dollar index, yeah, I believe. I know. I hear you. But it's been going down for months and months. And I don't think that that's going to change. I think gold was up, what, 25%, I think, last year. Silver was up 48%. I just want to tell you right now, we love silver in our community. Love it. Love the precious metals, the physical stuff. What are your thoughts for silver in 2021? It's going higher. Just for what we just talked about based off the, the U.S. dollar and all the increased spending. But, you know, you got silver is also unique. You got the exposure to the industrial demand, right? Mm -hmm. And with the transition away from fossil fuels, electric right. vehicles, solar panels, wind turbines, all that kind of stuff. Green energy world. Yeah. Um, it, that, that, that should be, again, bullish. I would think. Just based off the fundamental supply and demand. Especially since you mentioned the industrial demand. I don't think we've fully seen the rebound um, in, in that industrial demand at all. And I think there's a lot of potential. Silver is going to do really well in that type well, of environment. Especially with the, with Biden coming in. And now, again, like we talked about, Senate, Senate <laughs> is 50-50 with Harris as the deciding vote. So there's a better chance they're going to get some of their more aggressive Green energy policy yep. passed. I think you're right. I think that the future is extremely bright for silver. Um, and Mike, I've been trying pretty hard to turn my viewers on to mining stocks. You know, stacking this stuff physically, I love it. It's good to do. But I think a lot of people that watch my channel are just chasing returns in highly overvalued stocks in you know their uh, IRAs or their or, or private investment accounts. Why do junior mining stocks hold such good potential, especially in the economic environment we're in? 
all the, just the, the upside, depending on what the project you got. Like for us, we have a, a 92 million ounce silver equivalent historic resource to build off of. So we go out and you raise money, mm -hmm. spend that money in the ground for exploration with the hopes of proving up a larger deposit and in turn uh, creating a good return for your shareholders. Mm -hmm. This is a speculative sector. You got to do your homework. Not every mining company is worth your hard earned dollars, but um, I look for a few things. The first thing I look for is good management. Uh, second thing is the, the projects, right? The location, the status of the projects. Uh, third thing is insider ownership, you know, skin in the game. I'd love to see that. And uh, company financials, how healthy is the company? What, what's the cash, cash position and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to touch on each of those with you, Mike, yep. uh, with uh, Silver Dollar Resources. But let's Absolutely. talk about your company. And oh, by the way, I love the name, <laughs> Silver Dollar Resources. I love yeah. it. <laughs> it's it, super it, cool. It fits that my partner picked that, and then all the, the the stock ticker. Yeah. LV, you can't get a better ticker with uh, the iShares Silver Trust in the states. We share the same. I know. Uh, symbol so it's a great it's not a big deal but it's a good little marketing tool and yeah uh, so it's, it, it fits well yeah i love it and yeah it just that's a good point slv is your uh, canadian ticker symbol don't get confused guys that's not the etf slv that a lot of you might be investing in but let's talk about you you've been in this industry what 14 years yeah 14 15 years yep okay. uh, my background is uh it's in corporate development and finance i am not a geologist. I never mm. pretend to be, but I, I do think I do a good job of pairing the right technical people mm -hmm. with each specific project. And, um, you know, I'm just, I work well as part of a team. That's awesome. That's actually one of the most important jobs as a CEO, isn't it? Uh, building an outstanding team. Well, and I like to think uh, my biggest strength is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not afraid to tell you, I don't know the answer. Like I, I know what I don't know. <laughs> and that's why I try to surround myself with smarter people than me. Yep. And most in those cases, you try to do a lot more listening mm -hmm. than, than talking. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's all about teamwork and, and, you know, finding the right guys to do the right job and working together, common goal, add value for the shareholders, look after the community. And then that's, that's, that's what we're trying to do here. Right. So I've, uh, I've checked out your team. It's quite impressive, actually. I don't know if you want to highlight any of your directors or actually your technical advisors. Those, those two guys. Now, those were impressive geologists that you have on your staff. You, you, you can say that again. Between those two guys, well, first of all, they won the 2010 PDAC Award for their grassroots discoveries. That's mm. Perry Dierning and Bud Hellmeyer. Well-known geologists in the industry. Mm -hmm. Together, they've discovered over 1 billion, with a B, billion <laughs> ounces of silver and over 10 million ounces of gold. So Wow. I know. Very, very impressive. I met... Uh, Perry Durning through a mutual friend uh -huh. earlier on in this process while we're looking for silver projects. Mm -hmm. I had a quick call with him, liked him right away. I said, I don't know this guy, so I'm going to Google him. And I was just blown away by his accomplishments. And uh, it, it makes things easier because they're they're both just uh, great human beings as well. So it's mm -hmm. it's it's just a, we're so proud to have those two uh, associate themselves with Silver Dollar. And, you know, those guys, they know so much. They've forgotten more about exploration than I'll ever know. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, just a great resource to spitball ideas with. And uh, I love talking to them and just grateful for all the help. Wow. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Also, right. if, I, if I may. Yeah. Sure. Uh, we were lucky to have Mark Melfair, who is stick handling things for us on site because with COVID and all the travel restrictions, you can't just send guys down there. You got to uh, respect the community. And we're so fortunate to find Mark, uh, who actually lives in Durango City. Mm -hmm. an hour and a half away from La Jolla and he's got he's got big time experience he was the VP of Chesapeake and he's he did all the work for the Matatis deposit and it's one of the biggest undeveloped gold and silver deposits I think in the world and it happens to be in Durango State as well wow. so the perfect guy the perfect guy to help us and it's a perfect segue too to the location of the mines um, I think the one in Mexico though that's your flagship uh, asset right La Jolla no, no question. No question. Our primary project is La Jolla Silver Property. Yep. It's under option from First Majestic. I'm sure some of your subscribers or listeners oh, yeah. would be aware of First Majestic. They're a top first class operation, mm -hmm. well-known company. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the boss over there, Keith, very outspoken uh, with, with uh, what's going on with the silver price. Mm -hmm. They've treated us with respect. 
just so impressed to be able to team up with those guys and so proud that they're they're entrusting us with this project. Um, La Jolla, so, 75 uh, kilometers southeast of Durango City. Hour and a half car ride on a, along a paved highway. Oh, wow. Yeah, first Majestic. <laughs> you don't need to fly in on a helicopter, huh? <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, it's good, man. And, and uh, Silvercrest had this project uh, when first Majestic bought them out in 15 and Silvercrest, mm. they spent about 20 million bucks in the ground over the five years. And they proved up uh, what is now a historic resource of about 92 million ounces of silver equivalent. Wow. And uh, for, us, for us as a small company, the, what, what a perfect, this, it checks all the boxes, right? Great location, mm -hmm. in the other mines in the area. Mm -hmm. And it has a nice historic resource to build off with excellent expiration potential. So that, what more do you, what more can you ask for? How about the status? What are you guys uh, about the drill or getting close to it? Oh, good question. We, well, since 2015, this, this project's been just sitting idle. So our main goal was to get uh, on the ground um, and make the introductions to the community members. Mm -hmm. That's number one, most important thing. We didn't want to make anybody nervous. Um, so Good that's point. come along. That's come a long ways. We've had Tetra Tech, uh, geological outfit who did all the work for Silvercrest. We're picking up right where Silvercrest left off. The Tetra Tech guys have been incredible. Uh, we just got the technical memos there last week. Mm -hmm. We will have an update to the market here within the next few weeks on an update on our geological model and mm. also our exploration plans and what we're going to look at for targeting. And we're hope to be drilling within the first half of this year. That's good news. So guys, yeah, again, this is obviously juniors speculative, but this is when you actually want to get in, not after they've already drilled and found it and all that. It's just, if you're going to play this game, this is the time to do it. And uh, the best, if I, if, if I may, just yeah. to, to follow up on that point mm -hmm. and to, to what you brought up earlier is uh, also to that we have, we're fully funded. So we have $10 million Canadian fully. funds, no debt. So in theory, we're fully funded to complete our first round of drilling. In terms of share structure, we have 36 million shares out, 36 mm -hmm. million shares out, market cap of about 65 million Canadian. And uh, you talked about insider ownership. Well, collectively, yeah. our yeah. two biggest shareholders are the very well-known mining financier, Eric Sprott. He's a, a legend, dude. <laughs> he, is. he happens to own about 17%. And okay. First Majestic is the other, uh, our second largest shareholder. So between those two and the insider group, we control 40% of 36 million shares out. So there's a real That's tight phenomenal. flow. Yeah, That's first, first Majestic, that would ring a lot of bells for people. That is probably one of the most purest silver miner plays you can get. Uh, at full disclosure, I'm actually a, an investor with First Majestic. I've been for quite a while. They're nearly a $4 billion corporation on the New York Stock Exchange. They pay yep. dividends. They're legit. I mean, really, they're fantastic. And to have that type of interest, you know, would you say it was 15% or what What are they? What stake do yeah, they 16, have? 16% 16. ownership, First Majestic. Wow. Okay, that's great. I mean, it's, guys. It's one thing to reach out to potential investors in an open market. It's another thing to have a, a big name, big company shareholders in the industry, a part of your mind. So that, that means a lot. Um, so that certainly, yeah. makes my, certainly makes my job easier having those, those two guys uh, involved in the story. And like I said, I work hard every day hmm. uh, just trying to do my job. So I just touch on um, the Canadian properties really quick. I mean, they're yeah, okay. yeah no problem. Okay. Sure, yeah. So, we went, we went public in May of this last year, mm -hmm. so 2020, um, the name Silver Dollar Resources, but we used Red Lake Gold Projects to get listed just okay. due to simplicity. But okay. the Red Lake Gold Projects, we vended, vended them into the company in 2018. And since then, the Red Lake Gold Camp in Canada has just exploded with activity. You had Evolution Mining from Australia come in. They bought out Newmont Gold Corp. Mm. You got great air resources, very well-known a uh, company, huge discovery story uh, up in Canada, pure gold mine. I think they're up to a billion valuation. They just started pouring gold a few weeks ago. Wow. And there's, there's numerous other juniors that are, are uh, drilling all over the place up there. And Right. And, uh, it's a, it, it is a popular location. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Definitely. It's a place to work. Lots going on. Yeah. And in October of this year, we just kind of prepped the market that we may look at spinning out our Red Lake gold assets to the shareholders via dividend or some other way that would make sense once we get going on La Jolla. Sure. You know, 
what are you going to be spending, do you think, on the exploration um, in, in 2021? Well, at, at least, well, the first half of the year will be at least five million bucks. And like I, like I told you, I'm, I'm super excited to, to, to prepare and get the news release out mm-hmm. that are going to highlight some of the exploration targets we have. Yep. Because they're, they're, it's going to be, I think we're going to awaken a sleeping giant here with this project. And I, I just can't wait to get the drills turning and to see what they turn up. And if you, if you guys are bullish on silver, like I imagine most of your subscribers oh, are, yeah. <laughs> I think silver, silver dollar is a great place to park some dough. The, as I said, that the expiration upside just on La Jolla alone is exceptional. And we provide some uh, exposure to the price of gold with our Red Lake projects. Yep, gold and silver, so, good. We got, like I said, strong ownership, fully funded, mm-hmm. tight share structure. You got some big names involved mm-hmm. all around on the technical side, the shareholder side. And um, as long as the silver price hangs in there, I think silver dollar will do quite well. Mm-hmm this year well yeah everybody gets worried that it's going down well if you're in accumulation mode or if you're looking to invest in a mining company you don't want it to have already shot up so this is the time to really consider silver dollar resources and again the ticker slv in canada on the stock exchange there over the counter it's slv df check them out at least put them on your watch list guys because you really do want to keep an eye on what is happening up with silver dollars this is exciting the best way to get more information is obviously the web page, just mm-hmm. like anything else, silverdollarresources.com. Yep. On the landing page, we just posted a nice animation video of the La Jolla project specifically. And below that is a button for the uh, corporate presentation. You guys take a look at that. If you go through the summary, you have yep. any questions, please feel free to give me a shout. And I'm confident that after a 10 minute phone call, I can alleviate any concerns and uh, hopefully have you interested in buying some silver dollar stock. Awesome. Yeah, Mike, I'm going to be putting the information uh, down in the description of this video. And uh, and don't forget to like and comment because this is a lot of information, very informative and a lot of fun. So thank you so much for joining me. Appreciate it. Right on. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. All right. Take care. Don't forget to check out Silver Dollar Resources. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK.